All right, thank you, Tony. Well, if you're looking for a little entertainment this weekend, you can get out to the opera. On Sunday, the Palmetto Opera is bringing the, bar the Barber of Seville to the Coger Center. Joining me today is Peter Barton, the artistic director of the Palmetto Opera. Thank you so much for being here today. My pleasure. All right, so can you tell us a little bit about your background? You know, what, what led you to getting into opera? Well, I, my first love was musical theater, and so I started taking voice lessons, because that's what you're supposed to do, or dance, acting, and voice lessons. You have to be mm -hmm. a triple threat on the Broadway world. And I grew to love the art form of classical singing and uh, ended up in a moment of insanity. I <laughs> had a mediocre opera career and then went into finance and data, and then in my mid-50s had a moment of insanity and went uh, to USC at their School of Music and got a doctorate and taught on the faculty there, and then joined the Palmetto Opera as the chair of their board and now their artistic director. Okay, so you definitely had quite an experience in the performing arts, you know, you kind of dabbled in everything. What really attracted you to opera specifically? If you love the art of singing and the human voice, mm -hmm. it is the ultimate. That's, that's it in a nutshell. If you've ever heard Luciano Pavarotti sing the national anthem of tenor arias, Nessun Dorma, then you know what that kind of voice can, can do to your, mm -hmm. not only your listening ear, but we listen with our whole bodies, and it's a, it's a transcendent transcendental experience, really. Okay, and I'm sure that that will be conveyed this weekend in the show. So can you tell us a little bit about the Barber of Seville? Absolutely. So it is... Uh, you know, one of those top ten operas of all time. Uh, it is a comic opera, so you do not have to bring the box of tissues like last year when we did Madame a Butterfly and uh, everyone's crying at the end. This one has a happy ending. There are no dead bodies on the stage. And it is, if you want to see where all the themes from romantic comedies of today came from, all you have to do is go back and watch the, the love triangle that uh, is part of The Barber of Seville. Okay, so I'm sure there's a lot of preparation that goes into something like this. So talk a little bit about that prep. Uh, well, it's, it's interesting because uh, the singers that we have performing on Sunday have all done these roles before. Mm -hmm. And so it is quite amazing how they can come in. We work with a touring company called Teatro Lirico of Europe, and um, they have performed the barber lots. Mm -hmm. And so when they come in, one of the ways we can... We can afford opera these days is uh, they can come in and we just rent the Coger for one day. We come in and do a Saturday rehearsal. We do a Sunday rehearsal with orchestra and then boom, the matinee is 3 p.m. So it's, it's quite a, an exciting time and everyone's adrenaline is, is in full steam. Yeah. Okay, so we do have a little bit of time before 3 p.m. at Sunday. Can you give us a little singing tease perhaps? A uh, singing tease. Well, <clears throat> Um, I don't know if everyone remembers uh, Bugs Bunny doing the Barber of Seville, uh -huh. but it is the famous aria that uh, Figaro, the barber, sings forever and ever and ever. It's the, um, let me think. <clears throat> and it goes on from there. And it's, it, the, the music in, in the Barber Seville is called bel canto, which simply means beautiful singing. And uh, the, the lyrics are very clever, and you mm -hmm. can read the surtitles above the stage. But it really all is really all about beautiful singing and beautiful voices. Wow, I love mm -hmm. to hear it. So if anyone wants to catch that beautiful singing this weekend, you know, um, where can you get tickets? Great. Uh, Coger Center Box Office. Or you can go to our website, mm -hmm. palmettoperasc.org, and there's a link that takes you right in to where you choose your tickets. And there are tickets still mm -hmm. available. And um, I do want to say that uh, one quick thing, we have, a, we have to keep opera alive, and one okay. of the ways we do that is through the next generation. And we have, uh, our educational program is called Opera is Awesome, and we uh, go into the schools and tell them all about opera, and then we offer them free tickets. Okay. And so we will have a group of the next generation at the Barber this uh, Sunday afternoon seeing their first opera. All right. Well, thank you so much, Peter, for joining us. It's been a pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. All right. Well, stick with us. We've got more midday after the break.